Hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome back to Planet Coaster. Kaboing! <laughs> I love that little splash intro screen. This is Alpha 3 has just been released as of yesterday. It's actually on Steam now if you're a backer from the earlier um, campaign sort of thing. And I just wanted to jump in here. I wanted to do a quick video today and then kind of go back in. I've got a really cool idea for a park that I want to do. And this patch really gives us a whole bunch of new tools and the new accessories that we're able to uh, to use and so we're gonna we're gonna jump in. We're gonna create a new avatar because I mean that's something we can do now. We can randomize, and it looks like uh, we can be a female. I guess there is the the male. Yep, there's the male. Hey, look at that dude. He reminds me of um, what's that movie? Uh, the the friend off of the Goofy movie. Forget his name. Here, wait, 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 wait. Hold on here. Regular. Oh, so we have. Does he? He needs a pocket protector. He'd look like some of my coworkers. Um, pocket protect. Yeah, let's see it. Oh, where's his, where's the beard? Come on. Come on. Where's, we need a beard. Is there hair? There's, there's man fur. That guy looks straight up hipster. Um, uh, let's, let's not do that. Let's go randomize. Oh, yeah, that, he looks like he would be on, like, if you go to Walmart and then on the side of Walmart, there's like a bulletin board that says like 50 most dangerous people in the U.S. That guy would be on there. Let's try to figure one out here. Um... Let's go to, let's get the hair first. We have to have a beard. I don't want a really bushy beard, so I guess that's going to be the best it can be. Uh, I can't put a heads, okay, there, and, uh, nope, that's not me. Let's go with, let's go with that one. I don't know why. Bodies. Oh, yeah. Hey, that's not so bad there. Legs? Yeah, we need to put in some real pants on. What are these? Hey, that's pretty good. Now, what kind of a, uh, <laughs> a pirate hat. Yarg. Hey, wait, what happened to his beard? What happened to your beard? What? A hey, hold on here now. Uh, you put a hat on, you lose the beard. That is the, that is the worst trade-off in the history of bad trade-offs. I guess that's going to be our nerd. Let's take him in. He's going to be a nerd blitz in the park. Oh, and we get to be, we get to go where we want to be. Do we, we're going to be at the South Pole. Yes. No. <laughs> you can have this. Yeah, we're going to be at the South Pole. That's us, in the home of the penguins. What's, what's happening now? I think it, I think it froze or something. Oh, there we go. It didn't froze. Hey, look, it's Sea Toppy, and and Drax, and Tiny Pirate in there. And there's celebrities. Who are these celebrities that I don't know of? Huh. I really don't know. Ooh. Oh, so this is something cool too. Um, you have all of these different items now in the uh, park, uh, in the the Steam Workshop. So if we, oh, it was James Taylor. He's another YouTuber. Mark, Matt. I don't know all these guys. Huh. Very cool. So yeah, we could download any of their parks and, and play with them. I have no uploads to go. Okay, so I'm going to hit play. Uh, we've kind of looked around this enough. And we're going to hit play on here. And we're going to see what we can find. So we got the My Parks. We have the Challenge. And I guess the tutorial coming soon. What's new coming soon cruise. So there is the sandbox and the challenges. Let's look at the challenge. Start your park with 25,000 money and build that dream a getaway destination or 15,000 and heat up a sandy landscape. Let's go back. Uh, I don't have any parks in here and there are some downloads that you can subscribe to on. Um, what is it called? On the Steam Workshop. And then we have the frontier parks. So these are, oh, there's the Kraken Pit. A lot of these are from the old game, uh, the old alphas. So we're going to skip out on those. We're going to make our own. Um, I, we could do this, but I, I kind of want to just tinker around today. So we're going to go in the sandbox and the desert park. We have unlimited money, and we'll see what we can do. Okay, check it out. The brand new desert map. I guess this is the first I've seen it. I didn't play Alpha 2, so uh, we'll see what happens. Oh, there is the bounding box. All right, that looks good. It is just straight up a desert, isn't it? That is crazy. Okay, let's look. We don't have any blueprints. We don't have any of my coasters. Are these new? There's custom. Oh, look at that. Neat. Oh, they have prices now. Cool. Uh, rides in here. Ah, oh, there's some more extra rides. The cube. Okay, that looks kind of neat. Uh, we've got, let's see. Okay, so these are maybe the rides that are new. I'm not 100% sure. You know, one thing I love about this game is that it's like the dynamic shadows. It looks absolutely fantastic. Um, just the graphics. You know, there aren't many games that do dynamic shadowing correctly. 
Uh, so that's kind of cool. Uh, let's see, we have uh, this guy. Let's test it out. So we can go into testing mode now. Start the test, and oh, this is gonna this is gonna be killer. Let's go back to slow mode. This thing is a nasty creation. I don't know if I'd ever want to go on a ride like this, but it looks kind of terrifying. Look at that. This one's circling, and it's like an egg beater, just going in circles, in circles, and circles. Can we jump on the camera and see what kind of barf mode we can do here? Seat camera. Huh. Now imagine that in VR. That, okay, we need to stop that. Cinematic camera. Let's leave that. Okay, so we got an idea what that thing looks like. Next up on the list is this guy, this Psychola. I think this one's been in the game. I'm not 100% sure, but we're going to start a test on it anyway. And it should just roll in, and these things will independently spin as well, if I remember right. Yep, there they go. That'd be alright. I would enjoy a ride like that. And we have this thing, which I think uh, this is like a kind of an airplane simulator, because they have little wings here, right? Let's go into a camera mode and go into like a, uh, let's go to interest mode. Yeah, that looks like a little airplane, doesn't it? <laughs> I love it. Oh, no. I can't really hear the music too well. Oh, there we go. It's the Flight of the Valkyries. I thought that was right. Flies around. I want to. I want to go into super fast mode. Look at it go. I love that. Okay, and then this thing looks crazy. Kind of reminds me of the the old. Uh, what is it called? The the this thing right here. The the ship one. The victory. Kind of reminds me of that, but it's a little bit different. So watch this thing go. It's testing. Okay, so it's. Kind of normal, just goes in circles until one of these legs starts to go off a little bit, right? That's this thing. Oh, it looks like a like a lathe almost, with the chains going up, and then we've got a spinning bar up here. There it goes. It's it's turning. Oh, that'd be fun. Wee! Oh, it's got fire. It is ma um, what's the word? It is a uh, machinery or industrial. And then this thing, I'm not so sure if this one, I think this one's been in the game before, uh, but we'll just check it out to make sure. I'm just going on a 50,000 foot fly over here. And there's a sundial, that one. Oh, is that one new? I don't know. Let's test it. Okay, so this one's just basic, it looks like. Just swings back and forth, and back and forth, and then up. Yep, there it goes up. And down and up. Oh, yep. It's like a scissors. Sounds like a. Oh, we can slow it down. What does the music sound like? It sound like a bee. Neat. And then this guy will test this one out too. That's not music, it's just like a hydraulic lift. Huh. This thing is so cool. It just looks like an airplane flying around. I love it. And this guy here, what are you doing with yourself? So it spins, I'm guessing it spins and just goes back and forth like a clock. Okay, that's not as exciting. There is something else, uh, let's see, the coasters? Coasters, Little King, I think we can place in pre-made coasters now, yeah. So if we wanted to, we can just go ahead and, and buy them. Ooh, that one's kind of cool. Can we turn them? How do, you, how do you turn them? 4D. Okay, let's put that, how do you, is it a control? Hmm. It's the up and down ski. I'm gonna have to figure out the controls again, I guess. Anyway, let's just plop this bad boy in. And now, we can also click on him, and we should go to the painting. We can paint the track. Okay, this will have green. What color is your favorite color? I bet it's the color that we're gonna make this track. So we got green rails. Uh, let's go, ooh, we could, do, we could do Christmas mode. That'd be nice. Uh, and then let's do this back in green again. Oh, yeah. It's Santa's little helper. And then the car color could be like brown up front. Let's see. Make it look like reindeer or something dumb. Uh, and then down here, we can we can do that. It's not even Christmas yet. Okay, we have we need white wheels. So let's make this white. And then these could be yellow. Let's take it brown so it looks like a sleigh. And then this thing could be brown too. That's, that's not really brown, is it? Hmm. That's kind of neat. I love how you can change colors now. Can you change colors on these things? Let's check. Uh, let's go with you. Is that a brain in a jar? It is. 
Since you have a brain in the jar, we need to change your color. Oh, yellow. Okay, that's kind of neat. Uh, hot pink to go with the yellow. And then, how about a, a cyan? It looks like a, a bad ice cream. And yellow. We already have yellow. How about, how about a, I don't know. What, is, what other, gray? White probably would be the best. Look at that thing. Oh, I love it. This is gonna open up so many more possibilities now. Okay guys, so a lot of you have probably seen this. There is a terrain tool now. It came out in Alpha 2. Uh, I haven't really played around with it too much, but I wanna take you guys with it and, and show you some of the other really neat things. So we could make just this, like a snake, like a, like a, a, a wiggly snake thing here. Look at that. I guess that's a wiggly snake thing. We could take it under buildings too. This is kind of cool. The whole thing interacts with it and it just allows you to, to manipulate the ground wherever you go. So we can even come under here. Look at this. We can come underneath of it and we can have like a floating disc thing. <laughs> and eventually it'll give it up. Look at that. We can get underneath of there. Oh, we need to get rid of that. We have a floating park thing. Ride. It's not a park. But if we wanted to, I guess it doesn't have any supports on it. Uh, there is now water in the game. So we have a calm water here. We come up. Look at this. Boom! How cool is that? You can also get rid of it. Then we can go to like dirty water. Make it look like a swamp. Nasty swampy thing. And then there is standing water. I guess that's stagnant and there's no waves in it. Like glass almost. And then there's the rough water which has a lot of waves. Which is really, really neat. This is cool too, because it, it laps up the waves on the side. You see that? There's like a little bit of foam that's kind of lapping up on the side. Which is totally awesome. Uh, I'm gonna have a lot of fun building things. Oh, we need to we need to fill that in. Oh, wait, hold on. We need to fill it in with goop. Goop. Oh! Hi. I think there's different levels here, so if we just wanted the bottom of it like that, we could make different levels, if it's a drought, or we can fill it all the way up in a rain, which is awesome. And then there's painting. So if we wanted to paint like grassy areas, we can. Or if we want it really rocky, we can go ahead and do that tile. Uh, there's a few other things here that we could do. Uh, I guess that brings it back to the dirt. And then we have the sculpting still. So roughing, just kind of give us some wigglies in there. It's kind of cool. So. Um, I'm not really sure what else. I guess there's the buildings. There's new buildings we can look at. There's the Acon unit doors, but it's the blueprints that are the exciting things. We have the large blueprints, like a large clock tower here. Put that right in our way. Look at that. It's kind of cool. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention this. Look at it. There's shadows now. Uh, or not shadows, but reflections of the water on, on the park things. Look at that, we got the actual roller coaster reflected down here. How cool is that? Okay, so I turned on the park, I built some beautiful paths, look at this. I am the best park designer in the entire world, pretty much. I mean, you couldn't get lost on these things. You come out of here, you're like, oh, I wanna go to this ride. Just kidding, we're gonna go over here instead. I know, it's just, we're just doing things quick today and we'll, we'll plan it here in the future. Um, so, uh, these guys are coming in. We're finally getting some park members. Maybe, maybe Little Blitz is gonna be in there as a part of the group. Uh, I know there is going to be a, a a peon. I don't know what these things are actually called. I know these guys are going to have a simulator that we can make up our things. So I plan on doing that after you guys in the future here. And we do have a few additional staff members. There's a staff list that we have. We have Chief Beef. We can we can hire him. Nobody likes Chief Beef though. No, I'm kidding. He's all right. He's an okay feller. Except his tongue is kind of weird. And we have, I guess, the uh, the Gulpy Rex. He's been in, in the game before. I like him. He's my favorite. He's a dinosaur. Then we have King Coaster. And let's see. I think... Oh, we got Captain Lockjaw. He's the big, tall pirate guy. And Cosmic Cow. So these are the new ones. We have Cosmic Cow <laughs> bouncing around on a little bouncy ball. Which is kind of weird because that's its udders. I don't really understand why I would want to be bouncing on, on part of it. Just kind of awkward. And then we've got uh, Princess Amel, who is our fairy tale princess. We've got a little a little maintenance guy too. He doesn't look very happy to be here working. Did we, is this gate not open? Okay, they are coming in. Good, just taking them a while to get here. 
So since these guys are coming in, oh, this is an actual ATM. That's kind of cool. Uh, oh, the ATM's on the side? Huh. So the front is a facade. Here. You can go there. That's really strange. The front is a facade. I would have thought there'd be a bathroom or something in there. We might have to make one of those in the future. And then there's like other things, like we can do castle shop. Let's get some food, a drink shack. Drink shack, baby, drink shack. Ooh, cosmic cow. Oh, it's the music. I remember the music now. It's been a while. We got our shops and facilities. Let's get uh, inform there's an information booth. That's kind of neat. Is that an actual, oh, it is an information kiosk. Very nice, they'll be able to buy stuff like that. Shops and facilities, I want a burger one too. Chief beef store, wow, that thing's pretty big. What do they have for sale? Oh yeah, that's the burger place. Oh, a little can in there, how cool is that? So all of our dudes are coming in, are they getting entertained? They kind of grouping around here. Uh, looks like, oh yeah, they are getting entertained by uh, the gulpy cosmic cow. That's right. You, dude, you're you're clogging up the whole line. Chief Beef right behind him. I guess they really like Mr. Guy there. <laughs> they, I picked the smallest path too, so that's why everyone's clogged up. Best park ever. Look at all the people coming in. Are we in here? I don't see us. So check it out. Uh, the game now has. Park benches in it? We can place park benches in along the path and it has park bins. How neat is this? You put the bins in. Now if they have garbage, they'll actually throw the garbage down. If they get tired, they're gonna camp out. That's awesome. Wow, it is like a ton of people in here right now. <laughs> that is so cool. We have so many people in here. Um, I don't really know what else to show you guys right now. We've kind of made a mess of this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this park right now. And uh, we're gonna continue this here pretty soon on a whole new version of the game. So, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know. If you got any really cool ideas of things you'd like to see me build, let me know that as well. And always remember, keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time.